from the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston. It's the Cube, covering IBM Think. Brought to you by IBM. Hi everybody, we're back, and this is Dave Vellante, and you're watching the Cube's coverage of the IBM Think 2020 digital event experience. Lisa Cisco is here. She's the global head of go-to-market and IBM Cloud at Wipro. Lisa, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. How are you doing? Very good. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. How are things holding up uh, down in Florida? You guys uh, staying safe? It's all good? Everyone staying safe, staying inside, working from home like, uh, like most of us. Uh, everyone's doing good. So I want to ask you, uh, I'm going to go right to it. Um, talk about digital transformation and I want to get your take um, and maybe share some thoughts that we've heard from clients. But digital transformation, you're kind of in the heart of it. Uh, you've got cloud, you're doing work with cognitive and AI and, and blockchain and, and the like. So what are you seeing in terms of how clients are adopting this notion, this digital transformation journey, and how has COVID affected that? Great question. So the hopefully the digital transformation won't always be about COVID. Um, but there always will be a need for companies to move quickly and adopt new technologies and do things that are unexpected, whether that's from an acquisition or a, an unexpected competitive move or, or new market that they want to be in. So any of those things can affect businesses. And what we're seeing right now is businesses who have adopted digital technology and by extension, adopted cloud as the backbone to that digital technology have been able to move faster in this environment. They're able to um, do things like work from home. They're able to ensure security is in place. Um, they're able to give their employees and their customers access to um, information in a faster and uh, more cost-effective way. And so we're really um, not excited to have COVID, but we're really uh, it's an interesting time to be looking at digital technologies and, and first mover advantages here. And the digital 2.0 era is all about enabling business responsiveness. Uh, and those are the things that we're doing with the technology plays that we're working on today. Yeah, I mean, the, the customers that we've talked to, the, the CIOs, the CISOs, they, they've said the, in many hard hit industries, hey, we basically have shut down spending with some exceptions, digital transformation being one of them. You've got experience in, in two areas that are being affected pretty dramatically by COVID. One is supply chain and the other is e-commerce. Um, you know, right. supply chains are just, you know, especially for a while, we're just in shambles. We're seeming to come back, you know, a little bit, but what have you seen from the supply chain? And what do you think, what kind of changes do you expect uh, are going to uh, be affected by COVID going forward? So again, this was an area that if you had invested in your supply chain and you have automated some of those processes, you're having an easier time onboarding your suppliers and uh, knowing where your shipments are and understanding um, what your forward looking position is going to be. If you haven't done those things, um, even though your IT budgets might be um, being slashed, there are things that you have to do right now. and so doing some of those things, um, using supply chain automation on the cloud. It's, it's, um, it's the right way for companies to go right now that find themselves in a predicament and, and maybe aren't as prepared as they'd like to be. So some of the technologies that we're helping bring to market, we've, we're seeing results with, with things like five times faster adoption and 40% more cost efficient than if they weren't trying to do these things in an automated way using the cloud. And so for companies that, that need help doing this, um, IBM has some of the, the best supply chain solutions in the market and, and Wipro certainly has years and years of experience bringing those to our clients. And then e-commerce is the other one. I mean, obviously there's been an explosion. Nobody wants to go out if they don't have to. We're ordering anything and everything online. And so I, it's been a kind of similar situation, right? If you, if you had your kind of e-commerce, you know, if you, been running water through the pipes and you've perfected that over the last you know, couple of years or you know, part yeah. of a decade, then you're in pretty good shape. But uh, so what are you seeing there with regard to e-commerce? If you didn't have a loyal customer base, now is the time to really get used to interacting with your customers in that way. So restaurants, for example, think the local mom and pop shops. Um, I live in a, a small town outside of Orlando and I'm seeing little uh, businesses get online and, and sell clothing and um, 
uh, wine and things that they wouldn't normally see and dabbling in e-commerce. So it's, it's um, really comfortable for most people now to buy things online. Um, and we're seeing services that you wouldn't normally um, be, be having online, things like education, K through 12, all the colleges, everything can be pretty much um, bought online these days or consumed uh, in a digital format. And so uh, I think, again, customers that have experience in doing this um, are, are ahead of the curve and, and customers that don't uh, are gonna quickly find that they have to. I want to turn our attention to in the conversation to cloud and get your perspectives. I mean, I've reported a number of times that you know the IBM cloud. It's not, it's not a, an infrastructure as a service. The race to the bottom. Obviously, IBM offers infrastructure as a service, but IBM strategy is not to try to take AWS head on in you know storage cost per bit. It's really to bring value through its software estate and portfolio and help its customers really take advantage of that the cloud model. How are you and your clients uh, taking advantage of the IBM Cloud? What kind of solutions do you have that are that are specific that that leverage the IBM Cloud? That's correct. We have um, two solutions that we're working on uh, building out with with IBM and leveraging hybrid clouds. So we're in an environment where ninety four percent of enterprises have multiple clouds now. They all have a combination of AWS or Azure or private clouds or IBM Cloud, um, and 73% of our clients see the ability to move between those clouds as a high priority. And we are addressing that with uh, two main uh, solutions that, that we've built out at Wipro. One is called our boundaryless enterprise solution. And you can think of that as the infrastructure and the knowledge piece. Um, we've taken the knowledge from thousands of successful um, hybrid cloud migrations that we've done, and we've built it into this framework um, to help our customers be able to have a single dashboard and manage their view across hybrid cloud uh, in, a, in an automated uh, way and be able to be nimble and move between those clouds as business requirements um, uh, it, it demand that they do. And so um, that's the boundaryless enterprise side. The other side that we're working on with IBM is the application and integration modernization. Um, we have a solution that we call Modernizer. And that is using some of the IBM technologies, some third party technologies, and again, the, the Wipro knowledge from our successful engagements and making it so that we can um, easily see what the workload is going to be to containerize um, and have a single integration methodology that we're going to uh, be bringing to our clients to help them be able to do this in, a, in an automated, um, in a better way a faster way, a, a more uh, economical way. So those are the two things that we're working on now. And some of IBM's products are under the covers, things like multi-cloud manager, some of their DevOps and automation tools. And there's some, some tools again from third parties and from Wipro that we've brought in there as well. So the boundaryless enterprise, I mean, the, the idea there is that you've got a layer that allows you to go across clouds and have the same experience, whether you're on-prem, whether you're in, an Amazon cloud, an IBM cloud, uh, Azure, wh wherever, is that correct? And it's a single sort of cloud experience? Single dashboard, pane of glass so that you can look and you can serve you know, in an IT environment, your constituents um, the best way possible so that you're not locked into to any cloud vendor and you can take advantage of um, where your workloads need to go. And the modernization piece, the modernize, uh, uh, modernizer, uh, talk about how clients are, are are approaching that. Where do they start when they modernize their applications? Do they do a kind of, and you help them do an application portfolio assessment. They they identify the high value uh, uh, workloads in their portfolio. Maybe the ones that they're going to sunset. Is 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 a is a rationalization exercise the first step? Maybe you could talk about that. Every client is different, but uh, if the client was to approach us and recommend the best practice, we actually have a free two-week consulting engagement that we use for our clients that take a look at the workloads that they have and potentially will want to move to cloud. Um, we help them organize those workloads and figure out what the low-hanging fruit will be, the things that will take a little bit more time, um, the things that are going to give them the highest bang for the buck. And we um, will make some recommendations to them in that, that two-week engagement about how to get started. 
What about the, um, I'm going to uh, shift gears, talk about the, what you guys done in, in India with the Novus Lab. What, what is that all about? What kind of expertise is there? How, does, how do clients take advantage of that? So Wipro in IBM, um, out off the press, soon to be announced. Uh, we've just built it and we're soon to launch um, the IBM Wipro Novus Lounge. Novus is the Latin word for new uh, or for innovation. And that's what we plan to be doing in this lounge together. So we have um, Wipro Talent, um, 150 seats where we'll have uh, clients and different experts coming in and, and residing in that center, as well as access to all of the products I just talked about. Uh, we'll be working closely with the IBM um, GSI labs and bringing in new technologies, building out new solutions. So everything from taking supply chain to the next step to uh, adding uh, additional industry solutions. One of the first things that we're going to do in that IBM Novus Lounge is take advantage of the new IBM Financial Services Cloud, uh, which is going to be a covering cloud focused at that industry. And we're really excited to get started working on that technology to bring it to our clients. So, okay, so that's a that's an example of an industry solution and it's it's what, it's it's optimized for for for, for banking and financial services. Explain that if you would. That's correct. So IBM has worked with their clients in the financial services industry, and they have packaged up uh, some of the governance and security and regulations that are needed for the financial services industry. And they've put that into a solution that they'll be rolling out shortly. I'm sure you'll hear more about it at IBM Think. Uh, and that solution is going to be uh, based on the industry guidelines by country, um, rolling out in the US and then shortly to Europe. And we're going to be able to use that to jumpstart a lot of the workloads that we want to bring to our financial services clients without having to make them reinvent the wheel for all of the governance and security and regulatory things that they need. Well, I can see you guys doing this across multiple industries, kind of an out of the box, you know, tune something for retail, government, financial services, manufacturing, healthcare, where you've got the the requisite of security and compliance edicts, depending on where you are in the world. If it's a global organization, you're able to you know, identify what those local laws are. Maybe there's certain analytics capabilities and dashboards that you, you'd include. Is that, is that kind of the right way to think about this? That's exactly where we're headed and we're already starting to talk about healthcare as the next industry we'll be tackling after financial services. Yeah, well, I mean, the healthcare is, like they're so heads down right now. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully, you know, we could, they, they come out of this and take a take a little breather and then can really, you know, get back to some of the more strategic things that they want to do in the industry. I'll, I'll leave you with the last word, uh, kind of where you see the IBM Wipro partnership going, you know, what's your vision for that? We really like IBM's approach in terms of avoiding vendor lock-in. Uh, we love what's happened with the acquisition of Red Hat and being able to use that technology uh, more easily in our solutions. We think that the industry approach is the right approach. Um, all of those things will have our focus in the new Novus Lounge um, this year. And so while things are unusual on this current environment and we have a lot of things that we have to do immediately to help our clients uh, just be able to survive, uh, we're very much looking to the future and what we can bring uh, when this is all over, that will help our clients make sure that they're ready uh, for whatever the next challenge might be. Well, Lisa, thanks very much for coming on the cube. You got deep experience. I appreciate you sharing that with our with our audience. Stay safe. Thanks for having me. You're welcome, and thank you for watching, everybody. This is Dave Vellante for the cube and our continuing coverage, wall to wall coverage of IBM Think 2020, the digital event experience. You're watching the cube. We'll be right back right after this short break. <laughs>